Hello guys, what's up? This is Gary of Pinoy Propagandista. Thank you for listening. We have a very interesting guest on our show last Friday. It's a recording of our interview. She is an inner peace coach, life skills and positivity trainer, and an inspirational author. Well, there's some failed connections and low volume of sound when I start the interview. I apologize. I hope in the next sessions the interview sounds will be much better. Although yung sa guest natin, the audio is really, really good. Nakakaya nga sa akin. So, this is a fair warning. And also, this is my first time to do an interview. Well, about our guest, I met her online during an online course na nag-join ako. And from that, we got to know each other. And we did some chat, chatting on Facebook, uh, messaging. And I like her passion and motivation. She's a good online friend. Never met her in person yet, but maybe soon. So, the interview goes about around 15 to 20 minutes or more. We discuss about her journey in writing a book and we touch a bit on her past and some really dark past were brought up. Again, I want to say sorry kung meron mo offend. It's my first time. I'll be careful next time. So, I want you to listen to Justin Bulan or Coach Justin Bulan. Learn from her ideas. Pakinig ka sa mga sinasabi niya, her thoughts. She is very, very smart. So, I want to welcome you guys to Pinoy Propagandista Interviews, Coach Justin Bulan. Okay, can you tell us more about yourself, like a brief backstory? Mm-hmm. Okay, so my name is Justine. Um, I'm a actually right now I'm doing freelance coaching and then also training. Um, also trying na uh, mag speaking and then also right now creating my program. Although yung background, ko, educational background, um, I actually graduated with a degree in hotel and restaurant management. And then after that, well actually before I graduated, I knew na eh, hindi ako pang hospitality industry. And so um, I found na there's this thing called home-based na mga trabaho. And so after graduation, um, I did copywriting and then umikot sa company, napunta sa accounting. And then stayed in the company for three years. And then after that, I resigned, went to the U.S. for two years para mag-alaga ng baby. And then came back here in the Philippines and then took a break for one year. And then after a year, I joined the 90 Day Book Writing Challenge. And then um, after that, yung coaching. So basically, it's uh, yung background ko is medyo, ano, hindi siya, ang dami kong pinagdaanan, kumbaga. So yun yung... Um, I want to share with everyone na hindi ako na straight path going dito sa aking career ko ngayon. So, I've been all over and I've tried different things. So, yun. Ilang years ka sa US, Coach? Ano, two years. Two, two years. years. Yep. Tapos yung on- online uh, experience mo, online freelancing mo, ilang years yun? Mm-hmm. Um, three years. Although yung freelance, so I started as a freelance copywriter and then I was introduced by a friend to join this uh, US-based company. So doon ako nagstay talaga for three years. So it's a full-time job but ano, um, in effect parang home-based pa rin siya online. So I started there as a copywriter and then after parang mga three months, um, I realized na I love writing but not that kind of writing na nagsusulat ng mga copies. Ah, so okay. yeah, so yung manager ko, she saw potential in me. So sabi niya, sige, ano, tingnan natin kung magfi-fit ka in different teams. So pinaikot niya ako sa different teams hanggang sa napunta ako sa accounting and doon ako medyo nagstay ng mga two and a half years hanggang nag-resign. So um coach, that is um Yung client is uh, international or di- sa Philippines siya? International siya. So, it's a US-based 
e-commerce ano um, company. Ah, okay. They sell yeah, they sell different ano um so may mga Christmas tree, um lighting and different stuff pa. Ah, okay, nice. Yep. So that's a uh, back story. Ngayon, balik punta tayo sa latest. Um mm-hmm. What's your latest success recently? Okay. So, when I think of success, kasi yung success for me means differently. So, um, yung nakita ka tong question na to, yung naisip ko agad is just today, um, I said no to a potential project um, because uh, nag-coincide siya sa date na pupunta dito yung inalagaan kong baby sa US. So, um, instead of like, Kaya naman kung may paraan <laughs> na mahanapan ng you know different person to take care of her kasi two days lang naman yun. But then for me kasi, um, minsan ko lang siya makita and they will be here for only like three weeks. And so I wanna really spend time with her. And so for me, I see that, I consider that, I consider it as a success kasi like um, it's staying true with my values and being clear ko ano talaga yung priorities ko. So, ah. work will be there and pero yung time with the baby, um, hindi na pala siya baby, <laughs> with this little girl na I took care of, very limited. So, yun. Anong ibig mo, um, what do you mean? Parang, uh, parang finally, alam mo na yung, alam mo na what's the meaning of success? Ganun ba? Parang, what's what's your, paano ang ibig mo sabihin? Mm-hmm. Paano ang ibig sabihin na parang you said no? And then, um, mm-hmm. you feel that it was a uh, success? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, kasi for me, success is ano, it's inner peace. So, when, ever since before, um, hindi ako nag-resonate dun sa meaning ng success na, um, like, when I was a student, for my other classmates, when they get good grades, um, when they achieve something sa class or sa, maybe sa sports or whatever, like, um, there are good things, pero for me, it's not really success. Like, for me, it's really, hindi rin na, um, I don't also see success in terms of, like, um, career, growth, or yung mga, ano ba, mga profession, professionals, titles, yeah. um, or even, like, money. So, for me, as long as I'm feeling inner peace, um, that's success for me. So, <laughs> Alam mo, para kung ano, <laughs> kinikilabutan ako sa mga, sa mga sinasagot mo. <laughs> Parehas tayo, kasi hindi, ta- oh, kasi alam mo, pag na, nasa office ako, nakikita ko yung mga CEO, ganun. Hindi, parang hindi <laughs> na lang, hindi, hindi ko sila nakikita sa ano talaga. Yeah, tama ka, tama. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, ano, different people naman, they have different um, definition of success for yeah. them. So, I think the key here is really, ano ba yung definition of success? Ano ba yung success for you? And then, you follow that definition of success. Yeah. Hindi yung world's, world's definition of success. And I think that's one of the key na para maging masaya tayo and to live a fulfilled and meaningful life. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko na nga ba? So, yeah, uh, okay. Puto tayo sa main question. Um, uh-huh. What's special about you? Like, uh, ano yung, parang sa tingin mo yung superpowers mo, expertise, ganun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, uh, like uh, for example, nandito is, uh, just, Justin stands for loving holy and living fully. Mm-hmm. And she's, um, okay. Okay, okay. Yun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, nahirapan ako sa tanong na to. <laughs> okay, so what is special about me? Yeah. Um, I think, um, ano ba? Expertise. Uh, for me, yeah, expertise. Um, I would say na what's really um, special for me or about me is that uh, <laughs> I follow my heart and parang I'm not afraid to um, go against sa uh, sa status quo or sa convention kumbaga like parang ginagawa ko lang ko ano yung nagre-resonate sa akin and because of that I have this um, hindi naman siya unique but a different way 
of viewing life. And what I share, what I invite other people to see is na there is an alternative way of being, an alternative way of living, and it's something na following your own path, kumbaga. Um, and I highly respect na each one of us, we have our own journey. And, ayun, paano ko ba sabihin? <laughs> parang yun yung, parang yun yung ano ko, um, I guess yun yung special powers ko na I see each one having their own journey. Yeah. And, Tama. Yeah. Naintindihan ko. <laughs> yeah. Naintindihan ko. Yan. <laughs> Kung baga parang uh, see through mo sila, nagsisee through mo sila. No? And Pasta. having said that, um, hindi, walang parang walang cookie cutter na, um, uh, what do you call this, na parang to, uh, formula yan, cookie cutter formula to being to living holy, to living fully, to loving holy. Parang we each have our own timing, pacing, journey, and so yeah. ayun. Parang ang, I see myself as just a guide, as a companion for my clients, for the people that I serve. Um, be, pero basically, they will direct their own lives. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> like um, you mentioned clients, no? like um, um, <laughs> What we don't, ano bang hindi alam ng client about your um, specialty or what or your expertise? Ano ba yung bakit sila lapit sa yun? Since hindi nga nila alam po ano yung um, kung ano yung serve mo, ano yung nakikita mo sa kanila. What what we don't know about your uh, specialty? Malabo ba? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, but. Mm, parang nagigets ko naman siya. Sasagutin uh-huh. um, <laughs> ko, tingnan natin kung matutumbo. <laughs> oh, kasi, kasi you're the one who's um, serving that uh, specialty. No? So, what we don't know about mm-hmm. that? Ano hindi na alam ng clients? or ano? mm-hmm. Yeah. So, actually, ano, um, this is actually a question na I also ask myself. <laughs> uh, kasi yung nakikita kong um, itong itong special ko or yung field ko na sinaserve it's intrinsic and it's also subjective dun sa experience ng individual hindi compared mo sa iba na meron agad na definite result na nakikita so it's difficult to translate that to show that to others and um and so para what i see here is through storytelling, that's why what I'm doing now is sharing my story, and then by sharing my story, I attract the people who also resonates with the journey that I've gone through, or that I'm also going through right now, and then hopefully my connection na mangyayari, like for some na they will say na, ay, nakarelate ako sa story mo, and then they will by that, we will connect with me and then tingnan natin kung mag-judge ba. Tapos, doon na nabubuo yung um, client-coaching relationship. Did that answer your question? Uh, parang, basically, um, um, nire-raise mo yung mga hands nila, ano, yung mga kung ano yung, kung sino ba yung nakaka-resonate sa'yo to answer, mm-hmm. to answer yung mga questions nila, sarili nila. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, um, coach, uh, do you consider yourself and uh, as, as an entrepreneur? Uh, parang hindi ko pa nakikita yung sarili ko as an entrepreneur. Um, I feel na parang ano pa lang ako, um, freelancer transitioning to entrepreneurship or kahit solopreneurship. Yeah, I'm still nandun pa ako sa in-between. I'm still learning how to. Okay, so, um, can, you, mm-hmm. can you share um, experience through that transition, yung worst experience mo? Um, ito yung hindi ko, I, I mean, I, I don't have 
any regrets with the path that I chose. Pero this is something na I wouldn't really suggest to others na thinking of transitioning um, ng freelance or even like employing em- being an employee to um, starting their own business. Um, yung ginawa ko kasi, uh, I, I really put all in na, you know, uh, before I went to this, parang wala akong backup plan and then wala rin akong mga other sources of income. <laughs> and so, um, no umpisa, okay lang kasi meron naman akong mga savings, ganyan. Pero ngayon, um, medyo syempre, wala pang money coming in. And then, when you're starting a business, um, money is going out, <laughs> basically. Yeah. So, medyo mahirap magman mag-continue ng, ng business mo if you do not have yung regular or consistent na cash flow. So, for me, yan yung pinaka-worst ko na experience yung money sa money. What was your biggest idea that you were able to turn into a success? Mm, biggest idea? I would say yung book. <laughs> yung thank goodness I got lost na book. Yeah. Because uh, that is years in the making. And then, isa rin siya sa three unchanging dreams ko ever since um, I started having dreams. <laughs> and so, I was really happy na right na, na I was able to publish it last year and now people are able to enjoy it. Yeah, I know I know your book. Thank goodness I got lost. Is this mm-hmm. a uh masasabi mo ba siyang parang self-help book? Um uh pwede, yeah, it's mm-hmm. parang combination siya ng ano, um memoir, personal growth, self-help. Okay. <laughs> Inspirational book. Because um, a lot of people wrote this type of books, um, what made you decide to add your voice with the same topic? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for me, this, uh, thank goodness I got lost, it's really my way of paying it forward. Because when I was growing up until 19 years old, so I, con- I was in a dark place. Um, I didn't really grow up believing in myself and then also like I have a very bad relationship with myself um, and then when I was 19 that was like my rock bottom I have three choices then um, you know kill myself or stay sa college and then intay na mga baliyo or mag drop out ng college and then figure out really ko ano yung gusto ko kasi all along pala, what I was searching then was my purpose. Um, and then, so, I listened to that voice within me that was telling me na, hold on, Justine, hold on, one more day. So, I did. So, I dropped out of college. And then, I spent mga siguro half a year, or more or less, half a year, um, living like a hermit. <laughs> So I disconnected from my friend, pero I was still living with my mom and sister, pero I was really very minimal social interaction. And then um, I was trying to figure out what am I really, like what's going to happen, what do I want to do with my life moving forward. Um, and then basically I found a book by Brother Mo Sanchez, Your Past Does Not Define Your Future. And that book changed my life. So when I finally um, chose to live my life anew, I said na, okay, isa sa dream ko makapagsulat ng libro because I also want to share my journey and para matulungan kahit isang tao lang na matulungan ng libro ko, sobrang fulfilling na. Sobrang nabayaran ko na yung... Um, yung goodness na na-receive ko that day. So, yeah. yeah. Um, coach, uh, if you don't mind, okay lang ba? Um, yes, to why very dark yung ano mo, yung mga, like, uh, you wanted to kill yourself, kung 
ganun. Bakit ba't ganun? Anong, okay lang sa'yo yung pag-usapan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so, well, it started kasi uh, I didn't have a really good childhood. Um, not that I'm blaming um, my parents, um, especially my dad, pero um, it's just the way na growing up, I didn't really have a good relationship with him kasi he is an OFW. And he um, he was going sa abroad and then uwi siya sa Pilipinas to stay with us siguro like for a month every year. So one one month every year lang siya umuwi. And then um, uh, and parang na-remember ko ang um, nag-stick talaga na memory is yung mga times na napapagalitan kami na nako-compare sa mga um, pinsan namin na mas outgoing, mas um, active kasi as a child um ka- actually kahit ngayon um nasa si- nasa ano ko more quiet side um, homebody and and my dad was um encouraging us na to be like my cousins Um, kaso lang, yung kid self ko, syempre, ang interpretation niya is that um, I wasn't enough for my father, na he wants me to be someone else, na hindi niya ako accepted. So, yun yung naging story ko growing up. Um, and so, doon na rin, nag, from that um, story, doon na rin nabuo yung belief na I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not um, I'm not loved. And so, kahit na ano pa yung mga achievements na nakukuha ko, um, kahit na madami nagsasabi sa akin na, ay, yung bite-bite mo naman, um, yun, um, kung ano na pang mga positive na uh, sinasabi, parang still, yung pain nung, nung walang acceptance from my dad, yun yung naging Um, voice sa utak ko and yun yung naging cause kung bakit my darkness oh. during my childhood days. So, ayun. But now you're in good terms naman no, with your father or? Um, it's uh, we're, we're Facebook friends. Um, pero <laughs> 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 Yeah, um so girl, um we we communicated through email before. Um na, parang ever since naman hindi nagano kaganda yung um communication and then hindi rin kasi na nurture. But he did get a copy of my book. Wow, okay. And then after yeah, um and then after he got my a copy parang I sent him an email and I told him like uh, Papa I don't know how you're going to take this um, kasi hindi naman ako nagpaalam before <laughs> na yun yung susulat ko um, but I said na you know right now I have nothing but love and gratitude for him um, nice. kasi I wouldn't be the person that I am now if not for you know what I went through and so uh, yeah pero yun na yung last na ano Um, hindi pa siya nagre-reply ngayon. Sa ngayon, um, hindi pa siya nagre-reply dun sa email na yun. So, I don't know how he's taking the book or what I've shared in the book. So, yeah. So, about about the book part nung kinekwento mo ngayon is inside the book. Nandun na, 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 sa book mo? Mm, I touched on it. On it, yes. Okay. Mm. And so, next question. What was scary about writing this book? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for me personally, the scary part is yung magiging reaction ng ano, um, family ko. Kasi like I said, um, when I wrote this book or as I was writing this book, I didn't really tell anyone what it was about, at least sa family ko. Um, they don't know what I'm going to share. And this may be my story, pero this is also... Um, the story of my family. So, that is scary for me. <laughs> okay. Tama, tama. <laughs> Coach, when was this this book launch? Uh, September 2017. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
So, malapit tayo sa end ng question. What do you think was stopping you from doing what you're doing right now? Okay. So, what was, what do I think was stopping me before? Tama ba? Uh, from doing what you're doing. From what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think um, the biggest uh, thing that was stopping me before, not really a thing, but it was myself. <laughs> um, because I was... I've been hiding before um, and I didn't really believe na, you know, I have what it takes. I didn't believe in myself. And so, that was what's stopping me before. Self-doubt. Yep. Self-doubt, low self-worth, <laughs> low But self-esteem. Think, um, Coach Josh, uh, do you think now you don't have any self-doubt or... Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah. So, I don't think na, I think as long as we are alive, there will be that doubt in us. Um, I don't think na it will ever go away. Um, it's just part of being human. <laughs> But I think right now, what's different is, um, well, first, I have a very good relationship with myself. Um, I'm really, nice. you know, so in love with my life. <laughs> yeah. And I'm in love with um, being alive. And I know now na, everything that I'm going through, there is a reason for it and it's for my good, it's for my benefit, and it's for the highest good of all. Um, and so that's what's helping me to go through my self-doubt whenever it comes, because it still comes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, meron lang ako touch saglit dito about um Mm-hmm. Meron lang babasahin about your speaker's profile. It says here, it is her greatest joy to witness how others are transforming and transcending their current selves as they shine their beautiful, mm-hmm. unique light. So, what mm-hmm. do you mean by yung light? Mm-hmm. Yeah, light. Good question. <laughs> um, I think for me, light is that yung true essence natin ng individual because I really believe that each of us, we are created for a purpose. And within us, written in our DNA, in our core, um, there is that ano, um, goodness and there is that um, parang we were created to love kasi. I really believe that. To serve and love life. And yung expression ng service and love for life na yan, it's different for each individual. And I think as yun yung light na, na sinasabi ko, na it's how you are, who you are really inside, in your core. I don't know if that's making any sense. <laughs> yeah, it's okay kasi alam, ako nga, parang, ako nga, parang naisip ko wala namang taong, di ba, parang, uh, naging masama agad, parang ganun. Purpose is loving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Parang yun yung main <clears throat> book mo na. So, what else do you think that they will get from your book? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so from my book, um, I think the biggest thing that they can get from my book is really ano, um, an invitation to see that their life their experiences in life, everything, especially yung mga um, bagay na nakakasakit, yung bagay na nakaka-down, mga challenges, difficulties, and pains natin, they really serve a sacred purpose, and that is to prepare you, prepare us for whatever amazing mission that we have in our lives. And another thing is basically owning our owning our stories and owning our taking ownership of our lives so pinaka ano talaga dyan is learning how to break away from how we have been conditioned by our past and then taking that para ma uh, what do you call this to design how we are going to um, design our life's destiny basically so ayun Grabe, no? That's a big task, ano? Sobrang, <laughs> nagtindi na, <laughs> nagtindi na ang task na 
Grabe. So, <laughs> ako nakaka-relate kasi ako. Alam ko yung ano, mga sinasabi mo na intindihan. So, yun lang coach. Um, best advice you received? Best advice that I received yeah. is from my dad. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, he told me before na um, you know, just do whatever makes you happy follow your heart as long as you're not hurting anyone um just do what you want so <laughs> yeah so you eh, know uh, very funny because <clears throat> if you're if we are really um being uh what do you call this if we are going to look at our lives na in a bigger way you'll realize na the people who have hurt us the most, the experiences that has brought us pain, these are the greatest teachers that we have in our lives. Only if we allow it. Only if we try to see for the gifts ng experiences na na-experience natin. So, yeah. yun. <laughs> Yay. Process, ano yung process. Grabe. Mm. So, um, um, I'm gonna ask you three uh, recommendation. If okay lang, uh, mm-hmm. maka prepare ka ba dun, uh, coach? Uh, mm-hmm. Sige. What, what book you, uh, <laughs> would you recommend sa listeners? Na magandang basahin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, so, well, yung una, yung website, kasi may recommended website. Okay. I highly recommend yung ano. Yeah. Okay lang ba yun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, so for website talagang highly recommend ko yung mindvalley.com kasi they are yes mindvalley.com they are reinventing reimagining education talaga um they it's a global school for humanity so what they offer are um education to help us live extraordinary lives from being good uh, productivity, health and fitness, spirituality, um, biohacking, ano pa ba, <laughs> career, love, relationship, talagang super yun yung focus nila. And going away from, yun nga, from what's conventional, status quo, and traditional. So, yun yung first recommendation ko. Yep. And then, the for, the, yeah. for the book naman, um, I would recommend reading yung Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Uh, so, yes. Yes. <laughs> so, it's ano, creative living beyond fear. Ayan. So, ang propose is, I, for all of us naman, like, I really believe na we're all creative souls. So, again, it's just going beyond our fear, di ba? So, it's really helpful for that. And then another one. Application. Ano pa bang? Uh, may recommend mo like uh, software application. Application. Yeah, hindi kasi ako maano sa ani uh, sa mga app ang yan. Yeah, yeah traditional. <laughs> Kailan mo ginagamit? ginagamit yung ano? Uh, ano uh, I would say na ano uh, ah, yung recent find ko ngayon is ano yung Calendly.com. <laughs> so for ano uh, scheduling, yeah. If you are working with other people, <laughs> and then kasi may free ano siya, may free option. So um it helps you na kasi yung going back and forth na scheduling with other people. So it's really helpful. For and also coaching, it's, no? That's for, your for coaching, my coaching. Right? Yeah. Yes. Oo. Pero ano rin siya? Pwede mo rin siyang i-apply like if you need to meet with someone. <laughs> Di ba? Imbis na mag back and forth kayo. Kasi you get to decide kung anong time ka available, kung anong days lang, kung ilang meeting yung isi-set mo for what for a day. So, kung ano pa yung time na in between meetings. So, parang talagang it helps you to um to protect your calendar, to protect your time, to protect your energy. So, ayun yung pinaka-helpful na application ko ngayon. Meron pa mobile app yun, Coach? Ayun na hindi ko alam. <laughs> kasi yeah. <laughs> kasi Check nasa laptop ako. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, any gift for okay. listeners? 
para sa mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon, ngayon um, we'll be sending you a link later on. So, it will be for my book. And also, if you get a copy, you will get a complimentary um, coaching session with me. So, yan. Okay. Yun lang, Coach. Okay. Ayos. <laughs> And, yun pala. Where can they connect with you? Ah, yes. Okay. So, you can just, um, my site is jostinbulan.com, J-O-S-T-I-N-E, B-U-L-A-N.com. And then, you can also search me sa Facebook, um, Justin Bulan, and then you'll see my Facebook page. <laughs> Um, yeah. The links will be below this um, session. So, ikaw ang episode 1 ko, Coach. Malamat. <laughs> oh my gosh, kamusta na ba? <laughs> Kinakalala ko, sana okay lang. <laughs> <laughs> ano tayo, Coach? Pero okay lang yan. Ano oh, yan? First time. Pwede na, meron ano namang yan? next time. Eh. Oo. Oh. There you have it guys, my first podcast interview. Thanks again for listening. Again, you can check out Justin Bulan at www.jostinebulan.com All the resources mentioned and recommendation by our guests will be in the show notes. I'll probably do some transcribing soon, no audio, but just check out all the notes below this interview and don't forget to share and subscribe. Bye for now. Tagbisyo kayo. Ah, sige, sige. <laughs> Sorry na wala kang bigla. <laughs> <laughs>